Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Kev Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over some more jobs. Look at jobs online. Let's see who's hiring. Let's see what's going on. I want to look at, I'm going to change it up today. I want to look at system admin jobs. See what jobs are available in system admin. Obviously, we know my channel. Once you do, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. So, without further ado, I'm going to go to, let's go to Indeed. Um, and we're going to do, system administrator and, and i'm going to go over some of these jobs and what they what they're asking for and uh, i'm going to share my screen and i am going to share my screen all right so we see about ten thousand jobs there's a lot of jobs man oh my goodness so we have system admin is there a california is a ca cali um they're asking for seventy five thousand and eight thousand to pay for this one full time. We can just leave them Monday through Friday, pay time off, and they're asking for Windows Server infrastructure, including setup. So you can learn all this by setting up a VM from scratch with Windows Server 2022 2019. They're asking for VPN configurations for employees with remote access. You could probably set up some sort of VPN and learn how to do this. Learn about audits and backups. So you're using a, a backup solution, a Rubik, or something else like Veeam. And they say manage Active Directory, JCP, DNS, group policy settings. So definitely you can learn that. Like it's right here, right here, literally right here. So it's 2022. It literally shows up on the bottom. 2019. Experience with VPN, Cisco Connect. Like I could, I could apply for the jobs. I know how to do some of this stuff, but for someone that's brand new, no. So you have to have experience. Obviously, this is more. System admin is more prior experience being in help desk or desktop support. So if you have a, a couple of years in your belt, you should be able to apply to this job. So let's go to the next one. This is also in California. By the way, you can see they're asking for network protocols, knowing about networking, TCP, site lane, line, um, project management, Office 365 for IT support employees, Asset management, so you're probably going to use some sort of asset management tool. They're asking for Wi-Fi infrastructure, ISP solutions. Uh, so broad experience in IT, so a little bit of everything. Uh, OneDrive, team, SharePoint, Windows, Mac. Computer network concepts with switches and routers, five years of technical support experience. Just be able to learn quickly. That makes sense. So this is paying seventy five ninety k. California is pretty expensive. I wish you would pay a little bit more, but you know this it is a job at the end of the day. So let's look at another one. For, I want to look at one that's not California. Let's look at Austin, Texas. Eighty five thousand to one hundred and ten thousand. This is not bad, and it has benefits: on site gym, pay holidays. Let's see what they're asking for. This is about the uh, Sig Sigma. It's not the Sigma that I know. It's a different company. It's a different company. But bachelor's degree, two to three years. So you have a bachelor's degree, you should apply to this job. One year in IT. So you should apply to this job. You have one year in IT consulting. Pay is, pay is really good. I would, re I would recommend this job for someone that has one year of experience and has a bachelor's degree in computer science or something like that. Maybe someone that went to WGU, they could do this job. Now, these are all the skills they're asking for. Hyper-V, VMware, Exchange. You can learn all this for free. You can learn this for free. You can, learn this for, you can set up SQL Server. You can learn that for free. You can set up a firewall and learn that. For, you could set up another like a open source firewall and learn this. Active Directory, you set up an Active Directory from scratch. Group Policy, set that up from scratch. Azure, you can learn that for free for 30 days if you go and sign up online or with a new account. Same with Office 365, you can learn this for 30 days, sign up with an account. It's asking for into an experience. So what I would do is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up another tab. Give me a second. So what you do is you go into Office 365. And let's see here. Looking for
looking for the right website, but should be. Give me an enterprise one. I'm, I'm looking for an enterprise one, but there there are so many different ones. But there, there's so many different ones. I have to look for it and find it and put it on the link of this video. I'll check later. But yeah, so th this you could definitely learn. Definitely recommend learning that. Uh, let's go to the next one. Desktop System Administrator. Well, it's Desktop Support. Maybe, uh, let's see here. The next page. System Administrator Associate. Paying 100000 That's not bad. I guess it's asking for certification. Uh, sticks. So some security stuff is involved in this one. Uh, let's see, change control policies. Yeah, yeah, I, I figure as much security plus or CIS. Is, yeah, that makes sense. So this is more. This is system admin with some cybersecurity stuff. It's definitely more cybersecurity tailored, but that makes sense. You need, you need cost, secure, secret clearance is needed for this one. Pay is really good. The pay is really really good. Let's look for another job. Um, that's for different job. Again, Windows, Windows, Linux software, managing physical servers, application print servers. You can learn all this. Uh, Active Directory again. Yeah, Active Directory is like universal. You cannot avoid it. Uh, VMware Hyper-V again. You can learn all this stuff by, by going online and looking at uh, setting up trial accounts and stuff like that. Backup solutions. Drive this drive record. I guess you don't have to drive in this job. There's Coca Cola. You may have to drive. Makes sense. Um, let's look at a let's look at a one more job. I don't want to make this video too long. Okay. Where are the skills? Where are, show me the skills. All right, here we go. Technical PS platform, PC platform, operating systems, Windows OS, VMware, VMware. You you get VMware EXSI for free now. They changed the licensing for it. Active Directory, Azure Active Directory, Azure Services. So you sign up for an account. Uh, Hands-on software, hardware troubleshooting, network administration, local network area, data management. Customer service, obviously have customer service, be good with the team, have experience with the team, working with team collaboration, business needs, 10 years of job exchange, Jesus Christ, it's a lot. I would, I don't know about this job. I, I don't like jobs that ask for 10 years of experience and the, the pay is, and I wish they would pay more for that. All right, never mind. Let's look at one more job. I was going to say that this is the last one, but we'll look at one more somewhere else. Let's see. Um... A job in Connecticut. This looks interesting. All right. So it says IT support, Visual Basic, EXSI. I do have experience at EXSI. All the stuff that I have experience with, they're asking, they're asking for it. This is interesting. All right. Let's see. Day to day support, backups. Yep. Alerts. Okay. That makes sense. Documentation. Connect wise. Connect wise. Yep. Five years of IT support. So if you if you have IT support experience, you can apply to this job. MSP company, ideally with MSP, I worked at an MSP company. It's probably why it's showing that I kind of match with this job because it's green, all this stuff is there. Um, Windows 11, 10, I have experience with that. Windows, I have experience with cloud. I have experience with SQL, I have experience with VMware. I do PowerShell now. I have iOS and Android experience. So, wonder barely, <laughs> I have experience with this too. 
How much is this job paying? I need a hundred. Damn, that's not bad. All right. Um, PBX solutions video. Okay, I have I have video conferencing experience. So, if anyone worked at an MSP company with video conferencing stuff and all these solutions, you should be able to apply this job. So, if you worked at an MSP company, I would recommend you you apply for this job. But yeah, I'll stop sharing. I'll stop. I'll stop sharing. But. But yeah, that's it for me. Um, you could there's some of these jobs you could, if you have MSP experience, you should apply for this job. Um, the other jobs you could learn Active Directory for free, you could learn Office 365 for free. All the stuff they're asking for, you could learn it for free. All you gotta do is build a, a lab environment, make sure your resume is tailored to that, and then you can apply for a job after that. Hopefully, this video helps you out. With that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.